Well, driving a bus in these conditions can be tough. But semis are even bigger and sometimes even more challenging. NBC 15's Lindsay Branwell joins us with more. Yeah, John and Lee, I caught up with some truckers today who described what it's like when the wind blows, and they had some recommendations for other drivers on the roads. Senior steak. Paul Strasser has a five hour drive ahead of him tonight. I just pulled over to have supper. On 18 wheels. I'm going up to Derry in St. Paul. I got a load of milk on. He's not too worried, though. Snowy. It's not, not anything. Real fantastic. Knowing the few extra steps he has to take driving a semi in a Wisconsin winter. The back of my truck past the front of my truck. Also stopping for supper just a few tables down from Strasser. That big 53 foot by 13 6 is like a big sail. The wind hits it, it's going to drag you. You know, a lot of people don't realize that. Combined, Dave Hazy and Aaron Christensen have 40 years of experience driving a semi truck. We pulled about six out so far tonight. But they've spent their day working a flatbed, helping people that have spun off the road. And crawling underneath in the snow bank, hooking up cars. Knowing how to react with snow and wind on 18 wheels, they're asking for your help. Slow down, you know, give the people their space. Because these cars go right on past you. The big, some of the big trucks don't even care. They go right on past you. Stay off of this when you're driving, especially in this. Well, in addition to staying off your cell phone and slowing down, all those truck drivers ask those on four wheels to merge slowly and give semi-drivers enough room to do so, too.